Hi fellow traders, this is Jeff. I wanted to remake the video on how to do a covered call in Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. And I wanted to make it shorter because the other one's kind of long and I think it's kind of dragged out. And I wanted to make it short and sweet. So let's get going with this. First of all, your screen probably won't look like mine. If you want it to look exactly like mine, I can send you my configuration file. Just send me an email and I'll send you the file with instructions on what to do with it. But otherwise, uh, for most people, you want to probably like keep these screens the same as, as what they are already. You may already have your trading screen configured the way that you like it. But what happens a lot of times is people don't get this option trader um, icon up here as shown on mine. So if you want to turn that on, just go over to the configure menu and select the feature selector and make sure that you uncheck the features box and recheck it again and what that does is it turns on every feature that is in Trader Workstation because for some reason they want to turn these things off and they keep asking you every once in a while if you want to turn them off and I say for heaven's sake why would I want to do that? So just click OK, and if you didn't have Option Trader up to there before, it should be up there now. So the stock that we're going to pick today to do our covered call on, for no other reason than just to have one for demonstration purposes, is going to be FUQI, which I just did a um, naked put video on a couple of days ago. Only because it's at the top of my mind this week, so that's the stock that we're going to use so go ahead if you don't have option trader open already let's open it up and let me shrink get this in here full view for everybody all you have to do is just go up into this field here right here and type F U Q I press enter and press enter again because you want the stock and I have mine set up to give me um, the options you know like X amount of, of uh, strike prices on either side of in the money so I already brings up my October and my November um, strikes that are near the money and and what we want to do I think uh, let's pick something out here let's do an in the money covered call so right now that would be a $29 strike for October so we go up here and we click on option spreads you should also have that icon there move this window over here so you can see it and you click on this tab here for single and then you click on this drop down and select buy right and it's already done that for you for FUQI then you come down here for your expiration and you select October. We're going to do an October one. And uh, we said it was going to be... What did I say it was going to be? I forgot. Uh, we're going to do a 29. Thanks for reminding me. So we'll just scroll down here until we get down to 29 and select that. Now we're all set to go. We just click OK. And we actually get a contract description here. And it says, to buy one buy right means to sell one FUQI option, October 16, 29 call, and to buy one FUQI stock, 100 shares. Pretty simple. All right. So now, uh, next step is to bring this down. In case you can't see all your rows up here, just drag this um, line down here. Now you can see that uh, the order is in here and when you want to do a buy you just click on the ask price and you get an order line created down here this tab says orders we have an order line and we have a limit of 2723 now um, you may not want to pay 2723 for this maybe you want it's at 2701 is the bid so you could maybe get something in between there I usually like to drop it you know, depending on the spread, uh, maybe about a quarter of the way down on the spread. So I could, I could just uh, drop it down to like 27.19, say, and then tab out of that field. Let's review this. It's a day order. We're going to buy 
um, one covered call at the limit price of 27.19. So if we get called out at our strike of 29, we'll make a nice little profit here. All we have to do just hit transmit, and away we go. Hopefully, uh, it gets filled at the price that you're looking for. Now, um, I'm not going to wait for this to get filled necessarily. But I just wanted to point out also that you don't once you open up Option Trader, and especially if you've traded from within Option Trader, you don't want to close the window anymore. If you just X out the window and close it, you're going to lose the data that you have in there. And you always want to know when you have a complex combination trade like this, you're going to always want this Option Trader window open with the securities in it that you have um, open positions on right now. Just a word of advice. So that's it for this. If you have any questions, drop me an email, comment on my blog, comment on the uh, YouTube video, wherever you want to. I'll be waiting. Thanks for your time.